New York coverage of breaking news tonight. A mass shooting in Jacksonville, killing two innocent victims at a video game tournament. Even more people shot and tonight we're learning much more about those victims and the suspect deputies believe is behind it. We have team coverage on this story beginning with ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos who is live with what she's learning at this moment. Maricela. Yeah, behind me, you can see the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has this area blocked off where a shooter killed two people and injured several others. A well-known gaming tournament halted after a shooter opened fire inside Chicago Pizza. One violent crime in our city is one too many. This is video of the Jacksonville landing where a man killed two people before turning the gun on himself. Nine others suffered gunshot wounds. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims and their families who were all affected by this senseless act of violence here today. The Jacksonville Sheriff saying tonight they believe 24 year old David Katz of Baltimore, Maryland used a handgun at the Madden 19 tournament. They say he was here for the competition. His motive remains a mystery to investigators. The sheriff says officers responded within two minutes of getting the first 911 call for help. Troubling video of a live stream during that tournament captures the tragedy. You can hear the gunshots in the background. <laughs> Sheriff Mike Williams says they trained for this. We pray obviously that it never happens, uh, but today it did and they were prepared. Officers impounded the shooter's car. They say he stayed in Jacksonville last night and they are looking for anyone that may know where he stayed or anyone that may have video of that shooting. Reporting live from Jacksonville, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News. Marisola, thank you. Governor Scott in Jacksonville tonight assessing the damage not only physically but to the mental state of the community as another mass shooting striking the Sunshine State. Uh, this is a horrible day. At the end of the day, we have to grieve for individuals that senselessly lost their lives um, and these um, you know these things need to stop. Governor Rick Scott spending most of the night meeting with victims and first responders earlier today. Scott speaking with the president about getting federal resources to Jacksonville. And word is spreading on social media that the two victims of this shooting are prominent members of the Madden community. The Miami Herald reports that one of the victims is Taylor Robertson of Ballard, West Virginia. He went by the gamer tag Spot Me Please, and he was only 27 years old. He won the Madden Classic last year, according to his account on EA Sports. The other victim is reportedly Eli Clayton of Woodland Hills, California. Many on social media have shared their condolences for the death of Clayton, who went by the gamer tag True Boy and was one of the better players in the world. He actually wrote on social media just days ago that he was not going to come, but reconsidered at the very last minute. He was only 22. And one of the victims who survived works for Florida schools. The St. Lucie County School District confirms one of their employees was injured during the event. They say his injuries are not life threatening and did not specify his job. Our team coverage continues tonight as witnesses to the shooting. Luckily, they weren't victims. Those in the popular shopping and eating district in Jacksonville say they heard gunshots, some froze in fear, while others ran in whatever direction they thought would make them safe. Julian Idle from our sister station WPTV speaking to some witnesses tonight who tell us their story of survival. It's now a multi-state investigation with authorities searching a home in Maryland. But as you can see behind me, there's still police activity here in downtown Jacksonville. And talking to some witnesses earlier this evening, they tell me they're just trying to process what happened. Everything just froze. Like my heart dropped and I just thought that it was like real close because buildings when you hear gunshots they echo through these buildings. Leonard Thomas was about three blocks away when the shots were fired at the Jacksonville landing. People started running like I knew something had happened. I didn't know where exactly it was coming from and then I saw police uh, running or racing towards the landing and that's when I knew that it had to had come from that area. Thomas took cover at the closest place he could find and anytime fitness not too far from the scene. They had the door unlocked from the gym and we were able to go upstairs who for people who were able to get to the building. And then that's when um, like we were we were safe. Like they even marked it on Facebook. 
Others downtown this afternoon share similar accounts of what happened. It was just running out, screaming, kids growing up, you know, coming out screaming, some shot, some not. But, you know, you really couldn't tell because so many people in there. Javari Long pulled out his phone and started recording this cell phone video. It's been viewed online more than 27,000 times. You can see first responders and police in the background racing to find victims. I just want people to be safe. Like, it's, it's getting out of hand. The landing website says it's a gun free zone, frustrating those who were down here today. I don't even know. Like, how he got it in, I'm not sure. And Hopefully there's there will be answers. I don't really come down here a lot, but the day I do come down, this will happen. Right now it is pretty quiet here in downtown Jacksonville with not a whole lot of people out and about. But as you can see, there is still police tape up and authorities tell me they do plan to work through the night in Jacksonville. Jillian Idle reporting. And we're learning tonight the suspect is 24 year old David Katz. Katz is seen here with a player on the Buffalo Bills after winning a tournament last year. The 24 year old had no clear motive, but police confirming he was playing in the tournament this weekend and based on the bracket he lost in the first round. A video circulating showing player play by play saying he quote keeps to himself and is not here to make friends. And this video just given to us from our partners in Baltimore showing ATF agents going through the reported home of David Katz. In the video, agents can be seen talking to neighbors, walking around with dogs, looking for clues. The home was near Baltimore's Inner Harbor, and people in the area were asked questions about ammunition accidentally being sent to their homes. A statement tonight from Shad Khan, owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He says it's impossible to comprehend today's news. He says that Jacksonville residents are resilient, compassionate, and remarkably supportive, particularly in the most trying occasions. He ends by saying this tragedy will ask the best of all of us, and he knows we will respond. We will continue to cover this tragedy throughout the night as we get updates. We will give you the latest updates here on ABC Action News and on our free ABC Action News app. All